Hello there everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. Today I will be presenting you with something uh, something a bit more challenging, but hopefully you can get your head around it. Now what I want to talk to you today is uh, something called serial data transmission. Now some people might have heard of it and most people probably haven't. But what most people probably have heard of but won't have realised is parallel data transmission. Now parallel data transmission is simply this. When you have a certain amount of data travelling along a bus or like along a cable from one part to another. And if you wanted four bits of data, each bit has to have its own line, its own like separate way of being transmitted. Now what happens if you want to send all four bits of data down a single line? This is where serial data transmission comes in. Parallel, they're all sent in a cluster, whereas in serial, they're sent along one line sequentially, so one after the other with a very short time delay in between them. Now this means that it can be slower and it also means it can be a bit quicker and it can also mean that it's a lot lot smaller now can you imagine sending 8 bits from here all the way to here along 8 separate lines that's going to require a huge arc of busing and no one likes doing that so for this we can use serial <coughs> Okay, so we have our eight inputs here. This is just going to prove that it works. And say we want to send the uh, the number ten down our serial line. We have ten. We press send. This data is then sent along this line very very quickly, and as you can see, it landed in the decoder, and ten is showing with the redstone lamps. Now, if we if we reset that. We can see that nothing is being displayed and we can do a different one to prove it wasn't a fluke. So let's send, I don't know, 130, so no, uh, 154, which is uh, 128 add 16, and that's actually 144, but I can't do maths. So yeah, 144, 128 add 16. So we then, oh, lagging, lagging, and then press send. Oh, it seems to me that, ah, not good, I uh, I missed off that there. Uh, so let's, let's just do that one again because it didn't quite work, but it was just because I forgot that block. Let's just uh, send that data again, and as you can see, now that I put that block in, we have the correct output over here. So yeah, it's, uh, it's very neat and it is very handy. And um, at the moment on Minecraft R, which is a server, again, I highly recommend you join uh, over the RDF, which is a shame because the RDF was amazing, but yeah, R is where I play now, so yeah, join that server. Anyhow, as a bit of a tangent, um, on R at the moment, some people are doing a really cool um, project using data transmission, and uh, it's like a router, and it's really cool. So yeah, go and check it out with me on there sometime. Anyhow, let's explain how this works. So, we have a line here, and we have a monostable circuit of signal shortener. Let's just uh, break that so we're not updating the, uh, the decode every time. So, we have this little thing. This just generates two one tick pulses. It sends it one this way, and it sends one out here. So when you press it, one tick pulses. So over here it comes out of here and it goes along this line. This line has an extra tick for every piston it passes through and as you can see the pistons relate to the inputs. So on here there's been one tick of delay, here there's been an extra one, here there's been another one and so on and so on and so on. Depending on what the input is, depends on which pistons are um, uh, up which uh, will allow the signal to travel onto this line and we use half slabs to uh, make sure we don't have an infinite loop where the signal would go up come round and back down so the half slabs stop that I just said it's a day again okay so as you can see if we press it now we will actually have a signal coming up here after one tick of delay 
and then after two, three, after four. So we have a tick on, uh, so we have a one tick delay, and then a four tick delay. Well, not four tick delays after four ticks. So yeah, can I, yeah, can't even say much. Really. Never mind that. Um, so you may be wondering what this is for. Now we have an extra um, repeater here, which means that the fastest any signal can come from this way is one tick, two tick. So to get from here to the line going like left, it has to have two ticks of delay. But going right, there's only one tick of delay. So no matter what is being inputted in here, there will always be a one tick, uh, a one tick pulse uh, right away before any of this. So if I show you that, with no inputs in, there's always going to be one tick. Like that. <clears throat> so let's imagine we have uh, one of four, five coming through. We press that. So if you saw that, there's actually three, three flashes. We have the initial one coming from here, and then one tick later we have this one, and then two ticks after that we have this one. So this is then sent down the line and hits the decoder and as you can see we have a kind of a similar setup but with repeater locks so every output has an extra delay of one tick <coughs> and now this is where the first tick comes in really really useful and in fact makes it all work the first tick comes all the way through here it'll light up all of these as it travels down and then it hits this little contraption here which we just need to reset the one tick comes through here, powers this repeater, which then uh, comes around here and causes it to repeat a lock. So if we just do that, that's what the first tick does. It comes here and it repeats locks itself, causing an infinite loop. And at the same time, it sends this signal all the way down here, which um, causes these repeaters to come on, which will repeat lock these. So that's what the first tick does. After that, any data coming through will be sent down here, and depending on how many ticks of delay it had here, will depend on how uh, will like cause. Uh, I can't think of the word. Can't think of the word. Will um, it will affect how far along it will it far how far along that um that tick will come down this line. <coughs> So if after the um, so if after the first initial one tick, we just have a one. This is then going to come all the way down here, and it will get to here. And just as this comes through here, it will get repeater locked, and it will turn this on. Say we had a four. Uh, it will come down here, come down here, come down here. But this time, it will only re reach this repeater before it's repeater locked. So this will then come on here and turn this one on, and that's basically the uh, the way the decoder works. It's kind of hard to explain, and I hope you understood that. But uh, let's try and do a demonstration with eight, uh, no, with 128. Sorry, because then we can uh, see the different signals going. Uh, have I reset that? Is that reset? Yeah. Okay. So we have 128 coming through. So we will have. A one tick coming through here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ticks after that. Well, eight ticks after that, we'll have the 128 coming through. So let's see if we can watch the uh, output from here. So press the button. So as you saw, all of these were turned on, which is when the first signal came through that then repeat lock this little device sent the signal up here and caused this to repeat lock the 8 and now because it was on an extra 8 ticks of delay it only managed to get to here it didn't get anywhere further down here so when these repeat are locked this one was repeat locked in 0 this one had a 1 and voila we have 128 reading from right to left so that's it that's how serial data transmission works inside minecraft it's very useful and you can build some really cool stuff in it and I hope you've uh, hope you've learned something new. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm probably going to do a few more of these like random videos where I just show different 
redstone concepts because they're quite interesting and it broadens your knowledge of redstone and uh, computing in general as this is all relevant to uh, to real life. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Please stick around for the next video.